Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, I repaired most of the mechs since last episode, uh, with the exception of the Blackjack. I want to start doing repairs on them first, so that we have that second mech bay um, working away as we're getting this Blackjack repaired as well. So, let's go into the mech bays. And our main lance, I think, at this moment is probably pretty good. Uh, I don't want to change anything on it right now, but we might later on. So we were looking at um, our second lance here, and the Blackjack is going to be um, the main command mech, I think. And with this guy, we're going to end up... Um, um, it's got two ballistic and six uh, laser points on it. We'll probably fill it with lasers. Um, we, I'm not sure about the uh, ballistic points yet. Um, but it's going to be the main main um, laser slash ballistic uh, fire power, power mech. Firestarter 2C is going to be the close-in flamer version. We'll put a few lasers on it, but a lot of uh, um, mostly um, uh, flamers. The Jenner is going to be our long-range fire support mech, as it's always been in the past. And the Spider is going to be our melee mech. So let's start building these. And I want to start with the uh, Firestarter 2C, so let's refit this guy. Now... Uh, we managed to keep a few things from the last time. The Breacher um, uh, cockpit, the Fusion Core 210 with a uh, uh, Clan Double Heatsink uh, kit in it. So I'm thinking, um, I'm not sure if we want to keep that in this mech or not. But let's have a look what we can do with this guy. Like, there's a lot we can do with him, I think. Um, and let's start by maxing out the armor so it's pretty darn good um, let's just leave it maxed for now and I'm thinking maybe we put the defensive gyro in this guy uh, just to, because it's a really valuable mech we don't want to lose it we want to max out what we can for him so I think the defensive gyro is probably the way to go for the next uh, for maximum evasion. Um, Angel ECM gives reduced signature on enemy centers and reduced visibility and cover. Uh, I think maybe just a regular guardian ECM. What does this guy give us here? This gives us plus one defense against being hit. So we're going to put the guardian ECM in here. And we've got, do we have any, um, we don't have any TTSs, do we? We do not. Okay, so let's look at, um, we do need clan double heat sinks though, but I'm thinking about pulling this out because I don't, I mean, these flamers don't generate a lot of heat, do they? Like six each. So, um, let's move into weapons real quick. I want to see what we can do here. So we've got another four clan flamers. And a flamer triple plus that we can add. Um, if we really want to be sadistic, we can add, add a couple of medium heavy lasers as well. Like this. Now we got no heat efficiency, of course. But um, let's just see what we can do. So if we go put uh, regular endo steel in here and maybe a Clan XL engine. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Clan double heat sink. Cooling pod. This guy's going to be like crazy. Uh, hmm. We're going to be using up everything in this guy, so let's not do it this way. Let's use the medium heavy lasers maybe on the blackjack. Something like that, I think. We don't want to use up everything on this guy. That's the thing, right? Although the Klein XL engine is uh, 
probably a good way to go. I don't know. Let's see here for a second. Leaving the endo steel in for sure. Um, we have heavy pharaoh as well too, right? Um, so if we don't do that, what else, what else are we going to put in here? Small pulses maybe? We have to be in close. Large pulse is 40 heat though. We really need double heat sink kits for all these guys. Um, what are we at right now? 54 to 44. Uh, medium pulse maybe? Or just two regular medium lasers maybe. And then the rest is heat sinks, regular heat sinks. I think we do it that way. Can always adjust these afterwards just to see how these things are running, right? Um, we got half a ton left. Roughly half a ton. So if you go... Um, like that. We have a half a ton left. Uh, man, I don't know. Small laser triple plus. Way too much heat. Small laser... Oh, we don't have any more uh, points in the arm, or in the uh, torso, so that is. We can put the small laser in the hand, though. Oops, nope. Sorry, that's got to be the clan flamer. So we're not going to be firing everything all the time. So maybe we go that route. Just to see how this plays out. So that's 10 days. So let's start it with this. So there's our barbecue mech. Now the spider, this is going to be the tricky one I think. So we need speed on this guy for sure. Uh, so 225 engine is pretty heavy but I don't think it's going to make, yeah I don't know. That gives us 330 top speed. If we go with a 185, 280, 50 kilometers slower. We got more space. The thing is, we need weight, right? Because we got to get. Uh, yeah, we got to get those things in there. So, endo steel, maybe heavy ferro. Okay, the armor is pretty much already maxed out, except for the legs, which have got 50 a pop, which is okay, I guess. Um. Let's look at the weapons. We wanted to put the the wrecking balls in here. And we need hands. Um, for sure we need hands on this guy. Although we could go with uh, hands melee. Plus one melee actually, more melee damage. Stability damage. So if we do this, and we do leg boots, and we do pirate spiked helmet, and can we get the retractable blade in here? Oh my god, we can. <laughs> this guy's going to be crazy and close. Is there any way to tell what the melee damage is on this guy? Firepower. Max stability 90. Max damage 90. Well, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we definitely need ECM. I think the reduced visibility version is probably the better of the two. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to put the regular ECM on this guy. I want to have the reduced visibility one on... Actually, let's put, this, put the let's put the guardian in this guy. The reduced visibility I want to have on the uh, Jenner, so they can't see him from a distance. So guardian ECM. We've got half a ton left. 
So I think what we do is we put in, I think we just have enough room for this too. We're going to do patchwork materials right here. And then we're going to go and put a medium laser in right here. Small pulses are how much? One ton for those. These two small lasers have the same range as a medium laser. We need room for heat sinks too. Because we could put um, two of these guys in. Not the small pulse, the small laser please. And then we can do um, clan endo steel and then our heat sinks. So like one, two, we gotta put three in, right? Because that will then give us, so we gotta take 32 off of here. 32 hours, 20, so 20 when you're melee-ing. Yeah, that's pretty good. 32 when you're running, 20 when you're melee-ing for heat. So that's pretty darn good. I mean, we could put an XL engine in this guy, uh, but we don't really have the space. We'd have to take the Pharaoh out, the heavy Pharaoh out, and put regular. Like, we could put Clan Pharaoh in to reduce that. That's 0.75. This is 0 0.3, 138. Clan XL engine in it, maybe. And then what? We have no more points to fill up here. Uh, it's not like we could add anything else, I don't think. So let's keep this guy like this. I think this will work. Let's confirm this. And then the Jenner. So let's refit this guy. Okay, so equipment. Let's look for, okay, we know we need a couple things here. We need, um, let's put a breaching shot cockpit in this guy. Let's max out the armor. Then we need upper missile in this side. Uh, Angel ECM, we're gonna drop in this side. Um, XL gyro maybe. Don't really have to worry too much about stability here. But the extra ton is going to help out. Um, we could go with an Artemis system. And well, we don't need a huge engine in this guy. Like a 180 is probably fine. 240 kilometers, that's not bad. We're going to need three heat sinks. So let's put those in now before we forget. Regular heat sinks, please. One here, one here, and probably let's put one in the head. Why not? Okay, so that's our weight, and then we need let's drop endo and ferro for now. Um, something like that, I think. And then we've got 10 tons for weapons, so let's have a look missile system wise we could put um, we got the ATM 12 which we got to be pretty close to use but you can't use you can't use TTS with it um, I mean heck we could put a Thunderbolt 15 in here for all <laughs> all intents and purposes or do what we did before and put two MRM tens. Minus one accuracy. Cannot use Artemis. This is a sixty pinpoint damage weapon. How much is this way? Seven tons. Plus two accuracy, 2% two max damage. 
at range. 800 meters. Optimal is 480. And we could drop this guy in too. So if we pull out the Artemis and the Thunderbolt, we could put both of these guys in this arm. Now these guys both use LRM ammo, correct? Use LRM ammo bins. LRM ammo bins. Can I use special ammo or TTS? So it's just regular ammo. We'll get... This does 5 times 15, plus 1 accuracy, I'll get plus 2 more accuracy with the, so we get more accuracy with this, and if I put dead fire ammo in, it doesn't have the same range though, that's 7 tons. Can't use any special ammo with this. Uh, this is only 15 rounds. This would be 15 rounds. But we can use special ammo. The damage doesn't fall off over range. I'm going to try... Let's try this. Let's do this. I'm going to put a Clan XL engine in here. Um, And we're going to put in the Clan Artemis system. We're going to get, uh, actually, equipment. We're going to go down. And drop some case in. And then we're going to go to LRM ammo. Going to go with the accuracy ammo. Now, do we have an LRM-5? Oh, we had an LRM-5 as well. Just a regular one. LRM-10. Is, how much is this way? 5 tons. Clan 15 is 3.5 tons. I mean, for that matter, you could do this. We need another full ton of ammo. At least a full ton. 120, 120, and 80 is 320. That would be this would be 10, almost 11 turns of fire, continuous fire. Uh, we gotta take a half a ton out of here. Now, do we have? No, we don't have. Okay. I thought maybe we had um, another uh, We don't. There's no other way to get any more weight in this guy, unfortunately. Unless we go with Heavy Pharaoh. Well, that does it right there. So we go with Heavy Pharaoh, and then we go to another ton of L LRM ammo in here. And then we just finish it up by adding a couple of extra points on here. We could leave it like that. So we got 30 LRMs, 15 of them doing 5 damage per. The other one's doing 4 damage per at long range with plus 1, plus 2, 3, 4, plus 5 to hit for these guys, and plus 4 to hit for these guys. Thinking this guy's probably good like this. So let's confirm this one too. 47,000, not a whole lot. Right. I'll get it in the okay, so we want to make sure our blackjack's getting fixed first. And then the next highest one which is the Jenner, is alongside it. So let's close this and run the timeline ahead eight days.
Okay, there we go. Uh, what's this? Uh, Warlock is the verge of brawl with the havoc. You need somebody to remind their teammates, not enemies. Uh, make this a learning exercise. Morale increased by one. Nice. Okay, so let's have a look at our blackjack now. And let's see here. Let's refit this guy. So this guy's kind of getting the leftovers at this point. Uh, medium pulse can come out. LBX2 can come out for now. Although plus one accuracy. Seven times four plus or minus. It's really no, that's like five tons. You're better off putting an LRM system or something in, but we can't. But that's okay. We have do have laser points on the arms. So what I want to do is I want to put... Uh, this guy does have maximum armor, correct? Just about. Okay. So we're going to go with the uh, heavy medium lasers here. And that's going to be a lot of heat. So let's have a look at the equipment. We need to put a fusion core back in this guy. So let's put uh, Clan XL in here. Let's put in, for now, regular endo steel and an XL engine. Uh, we need an ECM, so we're going to put a Guardian ECM in here. Uh, cockpit, we don't really have much left in the way of cockpits. DNI cockpit. Reduced damage taken. Would definitely help from missiles. It would automatically drop the damage down from missiles by one point. Yeah, let's go for more defense on this guy, I think. I don't think we can get anything in here, right? Yeah, nothing in the arms. Okay, so Fusion Core 225 weighs, what, 13 tons? And that would make us at what speed here? 235. Okay, so that would keep up with the Jenner. That's actually not bad speed for this guy. This would make it 265. Let's make them a little faster, I think. We don't need extra heat sinks with that. So let's go that route. Uh, we're definitely going to need the heat sink cooling pod in here for sure. Um, but let's do this. Let's swap it around. Let's put that in the head and the Guardian in the CT. Since the head's a little harder to hit, we want to make sure we try and keep this as safe as possible. Um, we're going to need double heat sinks. Uh, for sure, because we got a lot of heat already in this guy. Um, what are we at here? Yeah, we still need like lots of heat sinking. So let's get a bunch in here. Four more. See where we're at here. Okay, pretty good. So now we can start thinking about other weapons here. Um, now keep in mind these are these are 50 damage weapons. Uh, I know they are medium lasers, but they do 50 damage, so it's almost like having an AC5 in the arms for one like one ton. So it's like definitely worth it, um, with the exception of having the having to add the extra heat sinks that is, but it still weighs a lot less. So we could just go with four. Well, maybe not four medium lasers. The other thing, too, is we could go with the large... Well, that's six tons, though. Let's just go with... We put two more medium lasers in this guy. And four heat sinks. I mean, these small lasers are probably better off. It's almost the same range as the regular medium lasers, except they have a better chance to hit. They do the same damage. Uh, small heavy laser, damage 30, 15 heat, 220 max though. Ballistic wise. Like that's 7 tons. These are 4 tons. Um... 
Oh, we got machine gun arrays too, right? Light machine gun array, four times ten damage at 440 meters. And I like a regular light machine gun at 440 meters. So that's half, two and a half tons and a ton and a half armor or uh, ammo. Even one ton, a ton of ammo would be enough. Like we could do this. Actually, we could put the clan light in here too. Right? And then that's 10, 15 shots per turn. So if you put a ton of machine gun ammo in it, that's all we would need. But we could put machine gun tracer ammo. That's 10 turns of machine gun fire. Right? And then... We could put the small heavy laser. Well, I don't know. We need really need heat sinking now. This guy just definitely seems underwhelming. Without a double heat sink kit in the engine. Um it's like Clan Endo. Clan Pharaoh. Um, what if we downgrade the engine again? It's only a slight downgrade, it's not much. And then we can just fill with uh, heat sinks. We got 0.75 tons left and no space. Uh, if we pull a rig, double heats, oh god, really? What's the heat for this guy? 14. And 2. Hmm. All right, what's the trade-off here? Let's actually let's do this for a second. Sorry, this is taking a lot longer than expected. I want to make sure I max out this guy. So let's pull these out again. Um, first thing we definitely need to do is drop in all the CT stuff that we had. Um, just for space and everything, just so we know what we're doing here. Um, well, we don't really need that right away. It's not going to use up any space. The fusion core definitely needs to go in. Let's stick with the 225 for now. And the gyro. The ECM definitely has to go in. So we're doing, like, weight-wise. Uh, okay, so there's our starting point. So if we do go ballistic-wise... Um, see, this would be 16 tons for these guys. Um, okay. Wait, we can't use... Um, can't use special ammo with those guys. Huh. Probably 20x.
if we did that, not saying we stay with it, but if we did that, that's the same as the two medium lasers we had, or the yeah, two heavy mediums. Then we can use precision ammo. We need two tons of AC5 ammo for sure. Huh. But that turns this guy back into a ranged platform again, right? We were planning on making this guy a close range guy. Machine gun array, 220 meters. Okay, I got an idea. Let's do this and this. Let's do this and this. Uh, tracer rounds with a half load. That'll give us 150, 250. So that's 12 turns of machine gun fire because this is 20 rounds in total. Right? Then we can do this is really just splash. Like if we go one, two, three, four, and then we do heat sink cooling pod. Uh, DNI cockpit, we decided to put in this guy. We could do two double heat sinks. What are we at now? Okay, three double heat sinks. And then seven more tons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually pretty darn good, I think. I mean, we don't have the 250 heavy hitters, but we've added more machine gun damage at a closer range with a better chance to crit. And we've also added pair, of, like we've basically split the medium laser damage from on the arms down from 50 to 25. But I think overall, is in terms of efficiency of, of fighting, this guy is probably better than the other one. Especially since we're going to be fighting lighter guys most of the time. Um, so I think this is the way we're going to go with this guy. It's a 17-day build. Let's, let's confirm this. We'll see how it works out. We may end up changing things, but since we have 10 days, let's actually manage our tasks. Since we have 10 days to the end of, how are we going to do this here? This guy finishes, this makes this 25, and that makes this 23. So that's 23 days away. You know what? We could wait. We got the cash for it, but I think it's probably better to take a mission with our main lance. But since this episode has gone so long, it's gone longer than I thought it would go, um, what we'll do, actually before we leave, let's check our mech warriors out. We're going to pull off a mission with our main lance uh, while we're waiting for the end of the month. So we do ha have now enough points to get um, Warlord on cold metal, which is what we wanted. Uh, better chance to hit, but now we have the Warlord ability to increase our damage. Uh, plus 2 accuracy, plus 10% damage. Minus 10% heat generated and cool 50% heat. Wow. That's nice. So every four turns we'll be able to use this sucker. So let's confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, we definitely want to be using this more when we get, uh, we're not firing missiles all the time. Um, Standing by. Now Hickory, we're going to wait. Um, see what she's got coming up later on. We might go with sensor lock. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll wait and see. Uh, Pylon, we're still waiting. 
and a recoil we're still waiting so we'll leave well you know what we can go with minus five heat generation on both those guys I'm thinking maybe we do that it's not much but they are heating up a fair bit let's just do this for now we've got the points let's spend them okay I think that'll help them both out plus it'll help them heal too when they're uh, when they come back after a mission I wish I could increase this guy's salary but um, unfortunately I can't yes command well recoil gets paid less than him which is probably probably yeah. good yeah he gets paid the most so that's fine um, all right so we're gonna end the episode here uh, when we come back next time we will take on one mission um, not sure which one that's going to be yet. We'll, I'll have a look and see what's there. And we'll take it on with the main lance. And then we will wait till the financial report ends. And we'll have our light lance back in play. And the, the uh, uh, episode after that will be the light lance back again. So it's nice to have them both running. Um, it's been a while since I was able to do that. But it's nice to have them back. So if you liked the video, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. And until next time, we'll see you later.